Tractor Tales this week takes us to Sterling, Nebraska, where we visit Bob Wolf's Sensory Farm. He introduces us to his John Deere Crawler, a true workhorse for the farm. What they have? This is a uh, John Deere model NC Crawler, yeah. and it's a, it's a track built on tracks. It also has a little bulldozer blade on it, and I bought it mainly because it was cute. It is cute, and it's a neat little toy and everything like that. But you wouldn't believe how handy it is to have around. It won't uh, it won't dig up hard dirt like a like a big bulldozer or whatever. But for leveling off dirt, like for backfilling a trench, or even just pushing brush or trash in a pile pile up or something like that, it just it just works real handy. And then the other thing that's real handy at is backing equipment a wagon or like even my threshing machine in the buildings because with the the way it turns with the tracks and everything you can move that back end over where, where the draw bar connects real easy without having to swing the front end of the tractor a long ways away so it's real handy for some, something like that you would be surprised how many offers I've had to buy it but Really? I just, uh, I don't think it'll be for sale for a while either. In this morning's country church salute, we head to Boole, Idaho, where members of the Boole United Methodist Church are celebrating 100 years of their ministry. They started regular services at a hotel, but in 1922, they moved into a basement. Seven years later, they started work on their new home, which was built on top of that existing basement. Using local stone, the craftsman finished the job in 1930 and is still in use today. Our thanks to James Lunty for providing the history of this beautiful old rock church. Our second stop takes us to Nia, Wisconsin, where we recognize the Emmanuel Evangelical Lutheran Church. The congregation organized in 1873 and built their first church in 1884. For more than 100 years, this close-knit congregation shared pastors with neighboring Lutheran churches. In 1975, they got their own pastor, and he's been there ever since. Our thanks to Gordon and Myrtle Schrader. And as always, we'd like to learn more about your home church as well. Salutes can be sent to the address on the screen. Please stay with us now. The mailbag is next.